everyone, it's John and Megan, and we are on the farm. And today we're going to show you guys the really cool items that we got out yard selling today. I'm really sorry, the sun's coming in. It's kind of a weird angle, and she's standing in the dark, and you can't see all of my face, but I'm not that pretty, so you don't want to see my face. You're not here for my face. You're here to see all the really cool stuff that we got. So we're going to jump right into this. I went to an auction last night, and we went to several yard sales and a flea market today. And we're going to jump in. I'm going to show you some of the really cool items that I bought. I've got this really crusty Nintendo Zapper Gun. Looks like it works all the way. I paid three bucks for it, but that's not it. I got a Super Nintendo as well. That is really awesome. It is discolored here on the bottom, but it needs a little bit of cleaning. I think it will clean up pretty good. Um, I do happen to have an extra controller, power supply, and an RCA cable to get it like up and going. So that'll be like 80 bucks once I get it listed. I'll probably sell it to someone local. Do you have something you want to show us, Francine? Do you want to show us something? While she's finding an item, I want to show you a couple more items that I scored here real quick. I got an Exorcist VCR tape, kind of like that. And I got this Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. Both of these items, I paid $3 for the book and $1 for the VCR tape. They will go into the store. Come on in the picture here, Francis, and show us what you got. Yeah, some Barbie clothes. Um, paid $5 for both. I don't know. He looked them up and said they're worth a decent amount. Yeah, I, 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 think, I think this one here sells for like $35 to $40. Bucks. And this one here is going to sell for like 25 bucks. I'm hoping. I looked them up real quick, scanned the barcode. If you're out doing the thrift store shopping or if you're out at the yard sales or something, don't be afraid to whip out that phone and to scan that barcode on the back. It'll work out perfect. You can figure out how much these items are selling for. And uh, be like Francis over here. If you noticed, she got it. She got it. So, like... She's buying this stuff. All the stuff that she's showing you will be listed on her eBay account for people to buy so that they can help her pay for her Mustang. So there you go. I'm going to show you. I got this really cool Big Dog Cooler Cup. If you remember the Big Dog stuff that was out a few years ago, they had like the Big Dog shirts and stuff like that. Well, this is a big cup, and I absolutely love it. Love the color. Kind of a fan of blue. And... Uh, that's pretty neat. I paid a whole dollar for it. And I think I'm going to be able to get like 15, 20 bucks for it. I don't know. If not, it'll go into the store. I think it's pretty darn cool. Next item I'm going to show you is I got a bunch of t-shirts here. This is one of the shirts that I got. It's an alien. It says alien gear holsters. I'm guessing it's some kind of gun holster shirt. And it has an alien on the back. I love shirts. We have about 300 in the store. And I have about another 400 to go out. So grab another item, Francis. I'm going to show them the hats that I got at the last location. I picked up these racing hats. Uh, number 18. We've got this 69 Chevelle hat. That's really cool. I've got this Kane Racing number 9 hat. It's got some embroidery on the back. Then I've got this M&M's hat. And they're all brand new with tags. They were five bucks. I got talking to the guy. And if you don't notice, I'm kind of good at talking. And uh, he cut me a deal. He sold them to me for three bucks a piece. I'm excited. They'll go into the store. Show them what you got, Francie. Show them. nice turquoise club pot with lid. It was $9. And I think it goes anywhere from $30 to $40. Probably probably the top of the line on that is going to be about 40 bucks for these club aluminum pots. They actually say club on the bottom. They come in different colors. If you've not bought these before, there's a whole set of them. There's the... <laughs> our dog is chasing the cat out of our truck. Uh, they, they, they come in like saute pans, sauce pans, bigger pans, and then these like little, like a, what would you call it, a Dutch oven, like four quart. A uh, little Dutch oven. And be on the lookout for them. That blue is probably one of the most sought-after colors. The, there's a red. There's a brown. There's all kinds of them. So you get to looking, and you will see all kinds of different colors. This is a, uh, what is that, a B104.3. It's a classic rock t-shirt. Love it. I got that. I got this awesome. I paid 50 or I paid a dollar for this. But it is a North Carolina, North, uh, Carolina uh, basketball jersey super awesome that's really cool I got this Kansas uh, or 
Arkansas Razorbacks uh, basketball jersey. Another cool piece. And then my wife giggled at me for buying this. I'm in a system of a down shirt, and I'm out there buying some Wham. And this says, wake me up before you go-go. And have you found another item for us yet, Francine? Yeah, you can finish your shirts. Okay, I've got one more shirt I'm going to show you. And this is one that I'm going to wear. I always like shirts with good motivational things on them. And this one says, work harder. That's what I always tell people. A lot of people want to become resellers, and they think it's easy. I have people that watch this channel that have become resellers, and they have came up to me, and they go, I didn't realize how hard this was. There's a lot easier ways to make money, but when you're passionate about it, and you want a blue Mustang, you got to work hard, right, Francine? Yep. Show them what you got. I have a lot of six, I think. 1997 Star Wars little, uh, what do they call them, buddies. Yes, the little little bead buddies. Yep. They couldn't call them beanies because that's against the rules. There's six different ones, so I paid $6 for them. I'm not really sure what they'll sell for, but I figured they'd sell for more than 6 bucks. So. Yeah, I think they will too, especially in a set like that. What does Johnny always tell you? If you have one of something, it could be crap. But if you have a lot of crap, it's manure. Put it on your fields and they get nice and green and uh, so a lot of crap is still beneficial it, it has a purpose like if you get a lot of something you can list it as a lot and you're probably going to make decent money on it. it's going to be worth your time this is one of my favorite types of shirts to get it's mountain of the mountain the mountain and uh, this is a <laughs> chihuahua and it's these shirts are cool these things are hot right now I found that, and I was just like, how awesome is that? How awesome? I'm going to buy it, and I'm going to love it. I'm going to love it forever. Oh, there's some goodies in this bag. If you're a video game person, you don't want to miss what's in that bag. You got another item for us, Francine? Um, I can do my reindeer. Oh, she got a really cute reindeer. I absolutely love this. Yeah, she finds all the good stuff. reindeer in a box for four bucks. Um, I'm not sure if he's 70s or... He's probably 80s, 80s, late 70s, early yeah. 80s. But he, he looked like he was used. He's one of those. He's one of those animatronics. He'll yep. walk and his nose lights yep. up. And we got to test songs. him out. Yeah, he plays songs. Probably yeah. Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer. You want to sing it for us? No. Okay, I don't blame you. The next item that I have here, I got made fun of for carrying my little Barbie lunchbox around with me, but I picked up another lunchbox. I'm starting to get quite the collection of lunchboxes. But this one came with the thermos, and I paid three bucks for it. Don't know what it sells for. It's probably only worth 10, 15 bucks at the most. But it looks good. And it, when you own a store, it's a pop culture store. That's the kind of stuff you look for. Kind of stuff you want in the store to make all the money. Not just some of the money, but all of the money. Um, let me see what else. My dog is going nuts. And he's running around. He's, the he's wanting to go for a bye bye ride. And. Um, I don't know if that's if that's going to happen because he's a bad boy. I did pick these up for the store, some decorations. I paid twenty five cents, rad. That's kind of cool. I'm going to put maybe put these up in the windows, and uh, I've got two of them actually. I've got this one, and the other one magically appeared because my wife got it for me. I got two of them. So how cool is that? You got an item to show us, Francine? Uh, let's see. I do have Theodore. Uh oh, you're gonna put he's gonna see that. Coop's gonna see yeah, that. Coop's gonna think it's for him, but it's he won't sell for a ton, but he was only I think fifty cents. And he's new. Theodore. For Melvin and the Chipmunks. No, Cooper. It's not for you. He was already going for him. I picked these up for a buck a piece. They're broken RC helicopters. But oh this one just doesn't have a remote. It don't look broken. This one's missing a propeller blade. Oh, Would you have bought these for a buck a piece? I did because I think I could take these and probably flip them on eBay, put them together, or sell them individually. I'm not sure. I'll have to do some research to kind of see if they sell at all. But, you know, I picked these up for a buck. I'm hoping to probably make 20, 30 bucks a piece out of the lot. If that happens, I will be a happy Johnny. Okay, I picked up an ice cream scoop. Uh, that's just for personal use because I like ice cream. And then I picked up an ACDC CD, uh, Back in Black. And then I picked up this Poison. It's like a two-disc, really nice CD. I think I paid a buck a piece for these. 
and these go in the store I have a couple guys that come in to buy CDs from me and I can put like uh, probably four or five dollars on this and definitely put four four bucks on this and not making a ton of money but you got to keep stuff in the store that your customers buy and to be honest how do you eat an elephant and one bite at a time one bite at a time how do you get rich <laughs> you sell little items and then you like wait for the big items to come in like the i didn't i haven't been making a lot of videos on what sold but we just recently sold like a uh like a, a buzz lightyear figure for two thousand bucks or for a thousand bucks i was thinking it's a year 2000 figure it's a year 2000 figure we sold it for a thousand bucks that's pretty awesome megan you're up those are that's coin glass coin glass he said i don't know they're pretty they are pretty they're they salt were, and pepper shakers yeah, they were four dollars yep how much do they sell for do you remember i don't remember what you said i said i think they'll sell for anywhere between 30 to 45 bucks mm -hmm. those are in really good shape just depends on how old they are uh coin glass that color blue anything in that color blue just about is worth money uh but definitely coin glass and let me show you what it means by coin mm -hmm. glass it's got like uh the coin <laughs> pattern there and that's what it looks like it's kind of cool it's kind of got the little coins in there and uh i found those for because i don't like to i'll sell glass and i know about it but like she needs items to pay for that car but man she found an item today that just it was absolutely it was pretty awesome it was pretty darn awesome but i found these it's a lot of these wire baskets uh really great for like country chic farm decor home interior designs put your blankets in them and stuff like that i paid two bucks a piece for these two bucks and i got four of them so i got eight dollars invested in them and i think i think i put them in the booth for 20 bucks a piece what do you guys think 20 bucks a piece and i could turn that eight dollars into eighty dollars that's how i like i like i really like making money that way the next item that I got here to show you is this really cool Family Guy Trilogy. I paid five bucks for it. That's probably almost about what it's worth. It's actually factory sealed. It'll go into the store. Um, I'll probably just put it in the store for like eight, nine bucks. I won't get rich on it, but if I tried to buy this, probably from like my wholesaler, it'd probably be like 20 bucks. So yeah, there we go. What item do you got, Francine? Um, I only have a few left. Well, that's okay. Uh -huh. I have this what is it rechargeable battery pack for Wii balance board I paid a dollar for it um, some people were selling them for like 15 to 20 some didn't sell I don't know I figured for a buck I'd take a chance on it well it's all about chances folks and I bought this these are like really cool mid-century modern like butter knives I don't know if you can see kind of how they're shaped. It comes in this nice little holder here. I take the tape off, but they'd all fall out. It's made by Town & Country. I've sold these before, but without the holder. And I think I can probably get somewhere in the neighborhood of, uh, I mean, if I get 20, 30 bucks out of them, I'd be happy. Uh, it's a $3 item. If I can flip it into 25, I'm gonna do it. This is just all speculation. This is, I didn't look hardly any of this stuff up. It's just how close can I get? How good am I? I've been reselling on eBay since 1997. And uh, how good am I? Like, can I, do I make bad buys? I do, but not super often. Um, I did pick up some cassette tapes here. And we sell a lot of music in the store. And I got this Creedence Clearwater cassette. I got George Michael. What's the deal with George Michael today? And George Michael Faith, because he was in... Oh, he was in Wham. Wham. I don't remember that. You got to wake me up before you go, though, Francis. There you go. Now, we're going to go into some video game finds. This was a pretty awesome score. I do have to say that my lovely wife here, that she was uh, ahead of me, because she likes to jump out ahead of me. You know, you got to get out in front of the master so that you can get the stuff. Because if not, I'm going to be ch -ch -ch grabbing. But I did find a bunch of these Super Nintendo games. I found 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 of them. And I paid 60 bucks for them. 
these are I they, they we're gonna go through them in rapid fire, and some of them are duplicates, but they're all like Mario. So I'll take duplicate Mario's. That's fine. This is Mario Kart. This is oh Donkey Kong Country, not exactly Mario. This is Super Mario World. This is Donkey Kong Country again. This is Donkey Kong Country 3. This is Super Mario All-Stars. Another Super Mario World. Another Donkey Kong Country. I got this Mrs. Pac-Man. And then we've got Donkey Kong Country 2. So I've got Donkey Kong Country 1, 2, and 3. And... Uh, I could, but they're probably going to go in the store because we want to have good video games for people when they come into our pop culture shop and be able to buy them. And those are those are pretty darn good. And uh, I paid six bucks a piece, so I paid sixty dollars for those. And uh, poor Frances here walked right past yeah, somehow them. Somehow I missed those. I don't she know went straight for the video game. She went straight for the video games. And uh, I was looking at another box that I got here to show you. But I'm going to let her show an item real quick. I'd show them folders. Those are really yeah, that's, cool. That's, I only have two things, two things left, I think. Uh-oh. Are you taking this or am I doing it? Is this you mine? can do it. That's yours. Okay. I'm giving it to you, baby, because I want you to I want you to make all that money. I don't know. It's cute. I don't know if anybody else wants to stuff or anything. But it's a Sheltie license plate. Thing. That is kind of By cool. Someone I like it. Mac, Mac, I don't know. McCart McCartney, it's, 97. Yeah, McCartney. Um, it's Paul McCartney from the Beatles. No, but it was 50 cents. Can't so. buy me shelties. Everybody's like, please don't do that. Please don't sing. Please right. don't sing. Please don't, John. Please. Okay, sorry about that. Brief intermission. I am back, but it took me a couple minutes. But for you, it was just a second. So, here we go. I picked up this really cool Taz sweatshirt. I paid five bucks for it. Not Nothing spectacular, but I get $15.20 for it out of the store. Then I got this awesome Taz all over print uh, women's t-shirt. That is super awesome. That is all the clothes that I got. I do have a big bag of hats to show you. But I picked this up. Well, I didn't pick it up. I had a buddy that was at an auction. And he knows I buy video game stuff. So he bought this Xbox 360. And I had to pay a whopping 12 bucks for it. And even if it doesn't work, I've got the controller, and that's worth more than 12 bucks in the store. And that's pretty awesome. I, I'm stoked about that. Um, <coughs> you want to do your... Uh, I'll do my folders. Yeah. These are some cool vintage space print folders. It's by Michael David Ward. There's four different ones. Boom. Boom. Boom! I paid a dollar a piece for them. I'm not sure what they'll sell for if they'll sell, but they're really awesome. I told her, I told her if they don't sell, I'll buy them back and put them in the store. These are from like 1996, 1997. They are super awesome. I'm going to show you an item now. Now it's a bunch of items. I bought it. What What do you think this is? It's a box lid. What do you think's in the box though? Huh? Let's look here. I bought a bunch of cards. It was a dollar a piece, or it was fifty dollars for the whole box. So you know what I said? I counted out like this many of them, and I'm like, that's fifty bucks. So why would I not buy the whole box? And you know why? Because eBay right now is letting you ship baseball cards for next to nothing, football, all of that stuff. Now, unfortunately for me, I just hit the camera. I'm sorry about that. All of these cards are of the same NASCAR driver, and it is Jeff Burton. He is the NASCAR driver, but there are stuff in here that are game-worn, or game-worn, like race-worn cars, rubber patches. Uh, I didn't see any autographs, but like there was one in here that was like one of five. The potential profit is in the hundreds, people. Hundreds of dollars, and I'm excited about that. Woo, what else do we got here? Are you done with stuff? No, I have my last item. Oh, wait, wait. Look I, at your dog's legs. I am not going to. He's got muddy paws. I don't know what to tell you about that. I'm filming a video, not worrying about Cooper's muddy paws. He's a bad boy. 
He's a bad boy. Okay. I bought a bunch of hats. He's looking at your hats. Get. <laughs> He's a bad boy. I bought this. This is, uh, the, <laughs> this is, uh, this buds for you. <laughs> Probably not the best time to be buying Bud Light stuff, but here's a Budweiser hat. These are all brand new. These are all nice embroidered hats. And they're all vintage, which is super cool. Another Budweiser hat like that. Here is a Kansas City Chiefs um, hat with the tag. It does have some spots on the bill, unfortunately. I don't know if we'll be able to get those out. Here's a Michelob. So I bought 90 something dollars worth of hats today. And I'm not going to show them all to you because they're mostly beer hats. If you're interested, the link to my eBay store is below, and eventually you will see all of this stuff. Probably this week or next week will all be listed if you're interested in vintage Budweiser hats. But this one here I just want to show you because I think it's pretty darn awesome. This is called Budweiser Redfish, and I just love the... Um, <laughs> I'm being molested by my dog. The... Uh, I love this uh, this fish on here. I love the color of it. It's absolutely amazing. I bought, I want to say, was it 31 hats? And yeah. I paid 90, uh, 93 bucks for all of them. I paid $3 a hat. And something like this will sell for $25 on eBay. Most of the beer hats sell for about $20 on eBay. And I will turn $3 into $20 31 times all day long. So there you go. Now Frances is going to, I'm not going to steal her thunder. I'm not going to steal it, but she's got a hat to show you. Yep, I found a hat before he did. And it's awesome. She ended up with this hat here because she had to run out in front of me mm -hmm. to get it. And it's a Stone Cold Steve Austin. It's what? Awesome. It's got the cool little... Original WWF tag back here. And that is the camo Stone yeah. Cold Steve it's, Austin hat. It doesn't like it's ever been worn. It doesn't have a tag. But it's, it's brand it's new not been without tag. It's nice. And it is fantastic. What do you guys think that that's worth? If you had to guess, I want you to think of a number right now. Think of that number. Go down below. Write it in the comment section. And be like, if I was to buy that hat, I think it's worth five bucks. No, it's worth not five bucks. How much is that hat? How much do you think that hat will sell for? Me? Yes. Um, well, he did look it up, and we're thinking maybe 150 Yeah, maybe anywhere between 100 to 150 Stone Cold Steve Austin stuff from the Attitude Era WWE Wrestling is absolutely amazing. It's just nothing but money. She's handing it to me because she gave no. it to me. <laughs> oh, look at her yank it away. No. She's like, no, no. This one is from 1998. 1998. So how old is it? 98 to 2008 to 2018, 1921, 2, 3. That's like 25 years old. I've been graduated for 25 years. Oh, my God. Yeah. Why do you, why do I look why do I, I still feel like I'm 17. I still feel like a big old dumb fat kid. So there we go. We got a flyby, <laughs> a flyby of a bug. Okay, guys. So we've got a couple more items to show you here. Uh, my buddy brought this to me. I absolutely love stuff like this. They sell pretty good. I'll probably end up giving it to Francis to list, but it's Dexter history books. And I got a lot of one, two, three, four. I got a lot of, I paid a uh, $1.25 a piece for these. I paid $5 for the lot. And they're all Catholic school books. Catholic boy, Catholic school for boys. And uh, this it's is, from this Brooklyn, is New York, wasn't it? Brooklyn, New York. These are them, these are them good looking young Catholic boys. So they're not so young anymore. They graduated a lot longer ago than I did. And the next item that I have here to show you is this Star Wars Command. Pretty awesome. I picked this up. I think I paid $3 for it. He got it for me. Something great to go into the store. And I picked up, I got this thing over here. I'm going to show it to you because I love the colors of it. I wouldn't have bought it if it had been any other color. But it's this two-tone green uh, Betty Crocker recipe with all the recipes in it. I don't want to dump them out because that would be a travesty. And that's everything. I don't know if I have a total for everything that I spent today. I about went down. My dog's trying to kill me. Um, he's right behind me. And I think I probably spent somewhere in the neighborhood of like $320 today on 
everything and yeah i think i'll probably make over a thousand bucks on what i spent if i can double my money i'm happy if i can triple my money i'm elated what do you think megan do you think you're going to do good with the stuff that you bought pretty good i think no. she's a man of few words francis everybody give her a hand thank you francis for helping me out today thank you for coming with me and uh, i love spending time with you all joking aside I love my wife more than anything in the whole world. My whole purpose in life is to make sure she's happy and uh, gets what she wants. Uh, and, you know, while I'm not really going to be a big part in paying for it, I do, like, help source merchandise for her. But you guys can be a big part in helping her pay for it. If you want, um, we're going to have her eBay page link down below and anyone who buys anything from her, we're going to give you a shout out. And Francis is going to get your name tattooed on her body. No jokes. Real story. That's what's going to happen. Tattoo your name right on her body. And uh, so be sure to go buy something from her. And uh, yeah. yeah. What do you, you have anything to say, Francis? No. You I, don't? I do love that car, though. She does love that car. Okay, guys, this is Francine's car, and those are her dogs. And it is a 2020 Ford Mustang GT Premium. She bought it with the money that she received. When her father uh, passed away, she got a little bit of money from that. And the rest of it is going to be funded with the help of eBay. And she is working diligently to pay for this bad boy. Do you love this car? I do. How, I got to get close to you because how much you love it? A lot. Yeah, I see my pets. That's my grass out there. We got this here, but we have no lawnmower because the well, because the lawnmower is getting fixed. It is getting but fixed. It's been there like a month. But then we got a Corvette sitting in the yard, and then we got an '84 Chevy pickup truck. We got a '98 Pontiac Firebird, and we've got the '07 Mustang GT, and then we've got my Chevy truck, and we have way too many vehicles. But we decided that going to buy another Mustang was a great idea. She decided. But this is the car. It's absolutely beautiful. I can't lie. I make jokes, but I absolutely love driving it. It's a little dirty because if you see, we live uh, we live down a long gravel road. And uh, yeah, absolutely a fun car. I just wanted to give you guys a quick walk around because uh, it's pretty neat. You want to uh, get in it and start it up so that everybody can hear it rev one more time before we end the video. And this is the stuff here. I, I, the reason why I want to say this is that everything that you see here, my, I had people, I had another YouTuber talking about my dumpy mobile home that I live in, but I own 40 acres. Yes, I had to give up, maybe not have the nicest house, but I own 40 acres. I own woods. I, I planted that tree when I was a young man. I own all of this. I own another house down there. They own one house and they're saying my house isn't good enough. But I own two houses that are crap and a bunch of vehicles that are broke down in the yard. But we're going to come back over here to Frances and she is going to give us a start. Look how good she looks in that car. You see, this thing is amazing. You can, you can change the exhaust change in it. Change the exhaust settings. So yeah. Like to, five settings for the exhaust. Yeah, go down. The track is the best because it's the loudest. I think. That's the one that she likes. This is... An amazing car, so let's get it started. But all of this, you see, that Corvette, all of my vehicles, my farm, everything is funded by our reselling adventure, and that's what we show you here on YouTube. I make no money on YouTube. I made like 16 bucks last month, probably because I didn't put out any videos. But everything, look at my cat, getting ready to get up on my truck. Start the bad boy. I'm rambling. Let's do this. Woo, what was that, Coop? Give me some mum pa 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 pounds. There we go. He's not. You're not liking that coop? You think that's a little loud? She's like, I'm going to. Okay. Kill it. You keep. You keep on revving it. But kill the car. There you go. There you go. No one can hear you. So what do you think? Me? Yeah. yeah. Amazing. Yep, it's, it's like ridiculous how awesome this car is. Yeah, it's, it's got so much stuff on it. Yeah, and how are you going to pay for it? By selling on eBay. That's right. Are you going to pay for it by YouTube revenue? Or do you have a YouTube channel? No. 
So you're telling me that you're going to buy this car just with your knowledge of reselling. That's pretty awesome because there's a lot of YouTubers on this platform. They can afford nice things. They got nice houses and nice cars. They're resellers, but most of their money comes from YouTube. And I'm not knocking anyone because I definitely applaud them. But if you're watching this channel right now, I'm going to tell you, if you're watching this channel right now, you know that you're following a couple of people that were just about the reselling game. And that we're going to show you guys how it's done. We don't even care if we make money making YouTube videos. We just enjoy talking to you guys. We enjoy it. Many of you guys are our personal friends. And uh, that's pretty cool. So we're going to end the video. We're going to say keep on digging. Keep on picking. And as always, the family that picks together, what do they do, Francis? They stick together. They stick together. Mm -hmm.